Hey, what's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, I do a lot of foundation review and fashion hauls video and some lifestyle vlog. So if you guys are into that, make sure to click the subscribe button down below and also click that my button so you get a notification whenever I upload a new video on my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm reviewing a sort of new foundation and I believe it came out a month ago but I want to test it out to see how it reacts on my skin. So this is the Hourglass Avian Soft Glow Foundation and to be honest I haven't tried out a lot of Hourglass foundation. I only tried out the stick foundation that like it was really popular back then but today I'm very excited to see how they formulate this Avian Soft Glow Foundation for my oily skin. So if you guys are wondering how it works with my skin type, then let's keep on watching. Alright, let's go into this foundation details and what it claims to be. First off, I purchased this at Sephora.com and I'm seeing a really high rating on Sephora. It's like 4.5 out of 5 rating and it has 361 reviews. So with this foundation, it is retail for $58 and it comes in one fluid ounce. And the shade range, it comes in 32 shade range with this foundation. So some of the highlights of this foundation, it's vegan friendly, liquid formula, medium coverage, natural finish, and long wearing. So this is claimed to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with light diffusing event for up to 16 hours. I don't think I'll be testing out for 16 hours because normally I only wear my foundation for 8 to 10 hours mark. And some highlighted ingredients with this foundation is the light diffusing pigments give you that natural finish and it has a blurring effect, minimize the look of imperfection, fine lines, wrinkles, and it has a white tea extraction, vitamin E, and antioxidant. This foundation is a transfer resistant formula. It's also resistant to humidity and sweat for a flawless looking coverage that stays in place. So I believe if you guys are living in more of a tropical area or like in Asia, Singapore, whatever you staying in, if you have this kind of weather that looking for a transfer resistance and that it holds along with the climate, I feel like this would be the foundation that you might want to try out. All right, with that being said, I am in the shade number four and it is claimed to be a light with warm undertone. All right, let's get into the foundation bottle review. First off, you guys can tell it is a very classic hourglass packaging. It comes with the frosted finish glass bottle and it comes with a pump. So $58 for a foundation, I do have to say it's more of a mid high range. I'm really interested to see how this would work on my oily skin. So the formula of this foundation, I'm going to quickly show you guys, is not as liquidy and it doesn't drip down easily. It looks like a very like cream texture kind of formula in a way. So now before I apply my foundation, I'm going to do a little setup with my concealer and that's usually what I do with foundation application, I like to put on my under eye brightener. This is Becca under eye brightener. It helps cancel out my dark circle. And today I'm changing up a new concealer just because I already finished up my all-time favorite Pemagraph concealer in this shade L5. And if I'm correct, this is my second bottle of the Pemagraph concealer. This is how much I love this concealer. So now I'm just using this Armar Giorgio Armani 3.5 Power Vibrate Concealer. And I just have it set it here for about a minute when I apply the foundation. So now you guys can see my face do have a lot of redness, breakout or with hormone issues. But with that being said, this is a very good way to test out the foundation to see if it gives you the coverage, how it reacts to this kind of like hormone issue texture um, skin. So I'm just gonna apply it like all over my face. And lately I have been really into 
using my fingers to apply my foundation because I feel like it gives me like the maximum amount of the coverage because of the hormone issue that I have. I've been using my finger kind of spread it out so that my sponge doesn't absorb the product. So it might look a little messy, but again, I did play around and figure out this is like the best way for my skin situation right now to apply and maximize the coverage of the foundation. I know I was like someone who really turned off by using finger application a year ago. And you guys know if you guys watched my video, I hate using finger back then. But now I'm just like, I need to maximize coverage of the foundation so right now you see it's pretty spread out on my face i know it looks a little crazy trust me it will work so now i'm just like using the sponge to evenly blend this out and i'm just gonna blend out my concealer first so you guys can see the foundation coverage before and after you do see there's a lot coverage on this foundation than what I expect because the redness is almost like cover up but again because I do have really like redness skin going on and I'm just using a sponge to kind of blend it evenly on my skin after I spread it out with my fingers so now with the second layer I like to focus on this redness area and kind of just use my finger try to blend it in with your first layer as seamlessly as possible maybe using a brush it gives you like the best coverage besides using a sponge but recently again i just love using my warmth of finger to blend into my skin to warm it up that bit onto your skin so that it will looks a lot more natural finish you guys can see right here the redness is instantly covered so i'm just gonna take slightly a little more of a foundation and I'll all right so the foundation is on and now that I feel like my face, it gives me a very natural finish, but it's not giving me that sticky finish at all. And it feels comfortable. I don't feel like this would be a, like a heavy feeling foundation on the skin, if you know what I mean. It's just like when you have more of a dewy kind of finish foundation, sometimes my skin, it feels a little bit more heavy and there's like layers on top of my skin. But right now I'm feeling very like, lightweight comfortable with this foundation having on my skin and i don't feel any like tackiness i don't feel like this foundation will remove easily just as soon as i pat it onto my skin i just knew this foundation it will stay put very nicely just because of the coverage that it gives me and the feeling of the foundation after it blending it out on the skin so i do highly recommend using a brush if you want to maximize the coverage or using your fingers but if you're someone that who do doesn't need much coverage a sponge i feel like it would do because it just really gives you that medium coverage on the skin so right now i'm just gonna set this up with a loosening powder and that's normally how i do because i have oily skin even though during the winter time i still set it with my loosening powder so after that i'm gonna finish up my makeup and i'll give you guys my first impression all right full face makeup it's done and i have to say so far i am liking this foundation not because it only gives me the medium coverage but it feels like my normal matte foundation in a way but it makes me look a little bit more natural finish but again i did set it with my loose setting powder so i really like this foundation it gives me that medium coverage it's also buildable you guys see i also built like three layers coverage on this side of my face so hopefully it will stay well throughout the whole day it doesn't move around hopefully it will just stay put and not makes me look a little bit too oily so everything makeup wise i layer on top with blush with contour everything blends seamlessly i don't have issue with like 
kicking or any issue of it and again it feels like the foundation once it sinks into your skin it doesn't move around so so far i'm liking the coverage how it feels and how it dries down on my face so later on i'll give you guys an update on how i like this foundation so stay tuned to see how it reacts on my oily skin all right guys i'm here for the final check in and now the time is 9 18 which means i have been wearing this foundation for nine hours and i just have to say the foundation it looks really good in the first four hours mark because it feels lightweight it still gives me the coverage and on top of my skin i don't feel like there's a layer like thick layer on top of my skin that i want to take it off as soon as possible so this is like the foundation that it feels like my normal kind of matte finish foundation but it does give me that more of a natural finish the only thing is i went to a plan shop today and i was there for two hours with the friends and in that space i have to say it feels a little humid and really hot inside it feels like it's like 90 degree i was kind of sweating when i was in the shop just because there's a lot of like plant grow light and then there's fan for the light and there's light box there is just a lot of grow light in the shop and i was there with friends for two hours and it just kind of feels like i am in thailand in a way but less humid so i haven't blocked throughout the day so this is what the foundation looks like it looks pretty oily just because this foundation is meant to be glowy and dewy finish so Usually with my oily skin, it will work a little bit more oily on the skin, but especially like during the summertime, I have to say what it looks like after blotting. So usually I would just go with this kitchen towel and do a quick blot. It does look a little bit more rough. It definitely will transfer a little just because of the oil comes through, you guys can see. So for this foundation, now I will give it 8 out of 10. Just because to be fair i was in this like really hot room in the plant shop and you guys can tell by my hair line is getting really oily that's like i feel like i did sweat a lot in the plant shop so i'm gonna give it another try to see if this wears a little less oily just because to be fair again i went to really hot space today for two hours it feels like i'm kind of in a shot sauna but i want to give it a fair try for the next day to put this foundation on for my normal day activities not gonna be like in a sauna room for two hours i'm just gonna do my normal like go to work come back check in work for eight hours and usually i'm just staying indoor maybe have a walk outside but i really like how beautiful it is very lightweight and the coverage and also how it feels on top of my skin all right doing this final check-in and now the time is eight which means I've been wearing this foundation legitimately for 12 hours. I wear this foundation at 8 a.m. and now it's at 8 p.m. So I did stay indoor most, most of the day and it was pretty cool outside. It was like the highest 70s fall weather and this is what it looks like with the foundation on. And I feel like with a less layer which means like two layers that I did today with a more everyday makeup look. And you guys can tell it's a lot better than what you see yesterday because the foundation is not as oily and also it's not as cakey. But the only thing is because the season is changing, the weather is changing, my skin did get a little dry and sensitive in a way that you can see there are some patches on my chin area. So during the six hours mark, I did blot my face with like tissue paper and because I did get a little oily back then, but it's not like heavily oily like you saw yesterday. It was just like my normal oil come through during the day. So I did blot it once and this is what it looks like. I feel like it still looks very nice and definitely this will be something that I'll be using towards the winter time because it feels comfortable and i really like the coverage of this because normally with a lot of foundation it says natural glow or give you that avian avian glow finish it definitely gets me very oily but with this foundation i feel like 
It's like the perfect amount of natural and it controls my oil in a way that doesn't happen with other like glowy foundation I would say. I feel like this would be a foundation that I'll be using daily during the winter time just because how natural that it gives me and the finish it gives me at the same time. And if you guys know Giorgio Armani it already gives you that medium coverage but because of my situation right now I need like the extra coverage. I don't want my sponge to absorb all my foundation coverage that is why lately i've been using my fingers for other application but other than that everything on top it looks really nice very natural finish if you guys are looking for coverage and a natural finish foundation i highly recommend this hourglass ambient soft glow foundation so let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this foundation how it reacts on your skin and how do you like this foundation with your skin type. So with that being said, this is the final of this foundation review. I hope you guys enjoy watching and if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up here to support me and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.